So what we have here is a cover crop that's been planted uh, maybe two and a half, three weeks ago. Well, probably three weeks ago from a, what a droughty corn. Well, a droughty corn. We're out and we, we didn't get to do, we didn't get the grass control on when we sprayed this spring. So okay. the, the crabgrass hindered this as much or more than anything. Um, uh, up here where we kept the crabgrass out. Which would we, be we this, right? Had, yeah, is that we still had 90 to 100 bushel corn. So okay. Uh, below the terrace, the corn would have been zero to 30. So a, a grazing netted about probably a hundred and... Just over a hundred dollars an acre. dollars an acre on weight gains on some animals. Uh, and then and then went in here with a cover crop. The value of animals, isn't it? Yeah. Again. Uh, get in our operation we want to get away from from government assistance uh, crop mm -hmm. insurance uh, if we would have taken the corn to harvest collected our crop insurance check it would have been about $130 an acre net so right now we're $30 behind uh, behind that with how we graze the corn off but we still got one cover crop to go uh, if we can get a ton of grazing per acre off of this we're going to wow. beat you're going to beat it yeah uh, the conventional system plus we'll still get another cover crop in behind this for spring Six or eight different brassicas in here, including Winfred, uh, Tillage or Nitro Radish, Rape, Canola, uh, Turnip, Forage Collards. Uh, there's two different kinds of radish. There's a uh, couple different kinds of vetch and clover and some oats. Yeah, it looks good. Look at this. It almost looks like there's, there's casts here. Yeah, that is. That's, that's all casts. Wow. So this was a cow pie. Yeah, this was a cow pie. Okay. You can see there's a little remnant of it right Right, there. right, okay. Well, you knew where to go. I sure, look at the life on that. That's just incredible. Look at that, three worms right in that little slice. Oh, there's, there's a little one right here. Right, another one. We, we have found as many as 50 or 60 worms underneath one cow pie. Yeah, that's, there's another one. that's incredible, that's just, what is your organic matter here? Uh, this field here would be pushing 4%. Okay. Uh, NRCS come out this spring. We did an infiltration over here in the corner where we're really high clay. Uh, we'd had a five inch rain on Friday night, Saturday morning. NRCS come out Monday morning and did an infiltration. And we were six and a half inches an hour. Wow, wow. Not a clay loam yet. Yeah. That's what's remarkable. I didn't view this as a failure. If I can net $100 an acre without crop insurance, I'm ecstatic. Right. Because I, I want away from it. I, I want to be able to live on my own. I, I don't want to have to answer to, the, to them. Um, I, I want to kick the crutches out and, and you know, we need to learn to fly on our own. That money's not guaranteed. They could yank that away any day. And, right. So what, what was the animals on here? Sheep or cattle? Actually, or? this were pears. I, I would like to okay. run some stalkers across it, but it, at uh, $3 a pound, I wasn't going to buy stalkers for a three-week experiment. Right, right. Uh, you know, we're just thinking about what the cow's bringing out with urine and manure. But Chris talks about when that cow grabs this and pulls, that that kickstarts all that microbial life under the soil and the root system as that plant goes through that shock. Oh, just the vibration part. Just the vibration part. Oh my gosh, okay. It'd be similar to running a plow through here. You know, you see a huge microbial jump when you run a plow through a field. Right. I, it, it must be a similar thing that, that we're seeing. Didn't just even, from the I didn't, on the I didn't the even know and that. Shock. And you said that was from Chris Nichols. Chris, Dr. Nichols there? Yeah. Okay. So we have a, just a little bit of a feeding. What maybe a little sacrifice area here with your bunk, yeah, uh, with your bunk, old, corral. old corrals. So what we're uh, noticing here is we have we have some cow pies here, cow pies that have yet to they basically dried out, and there's a few critters working on them. But as opposed to in the field, those were long gone. Yeah, and they're the same age cow pie. So it gives you an idea that uh, you pretty much have to have an energy system working, a, a live plant in other words, to break down your manure. Because yep. we, uh, we definitely have some right here in the field. So just a good exhibit of the differences of a biological activity from a grain field as opposed to a little sacrifice area. So.